Hey y'all, it's Tori and Wellman with Wellman Wellness Training and Carrie with Synergic Fit. Hope you guys are all doing well. As you can see, the weather's changing. It's getting very, very nice out. Uh, I just kind of wanted to give a shout out to the weather. I mean, the gratitude definitely uh, is there in that case. Uh, today we really wanted to talk about uh, some of the things that have been going on during this unprecedented time, some of these crazy events that we've seen, and really talk about um, our mindset shift or our progressions in areas that we really wanted to progress our lives personally. And we wanted to actually ask you guys, where were some of the methods or some of the things you were looking at uh, progressing? And maybe we could give some insight in some areas that maybe you need some help in or some strategies that you could try to employ moving forward to help you progress through some of these you know, tragic events and some of these tougher times that we've been dealing with. Um, do you want to add anything to that? No, I don't think I have anything profound to say in regards to that. I think just overall figuring out kind of the toll that it was taking on my emotional health and kind of where I had to go and move forward for myself. Yeah, and I mean, there's we've all been kind of affected by that. It's easy to get caught up with the uh, imagery or the message that essentially pushes uh, fear, uncertainty, and uh, that definitely has an effect not only on our emotional mind state, but literally, you know, keeping a roof over our heads and um, what it has to do on our finances and our careers. As trainers, uh, we really rely on an opportunity to obviously so into people and uh, build relationships that we formulated at the gym and as soon as the gyms were closed it became very difficult for us to navigate um, you know our business but what it did give us was an opportunity and I think that's the biggest thing that uh, we really got to wrap our heads around moving forward here uh, with this particular event or events that are shaping up and I think that's been something that's been a very big blessing on my end of things um, kind of talking about like what she was talking about when it comes to emotions. Um, prior to these events, I was kind of working myself almost to death, more or less. Um, I was really reaching out and trying to team up with a variety of businesses, uh, stretching myself very thinly in respects to helping clients and pushing an online training uh, principle. But, at, you know, internally I was struggling a little bit um, with balancing out all the um, choices I needed to make in order to help people in my, my teamwork or my partnerships, um, things that I would promise clients uh, in respects to training paradigms or I guess training phases and periodization that they needed for their programming uh, and then helping them on a personal level as a lot of them reached out to me on that sense and I didn't really know how to formulate that or really um, balance out all that and in turn I was getting very stressed and it was having an effect profoundly on my personal relationships and my friendships. Um, so I, it gave me an opportunity to really sit down and I guess analyze the way I was reacting to certain uh, situations, um, the way I was reacting to my emotions when events would happen. And um, with that extra time, I was able to tap into mentorship similar to like Carrie has done here with our mentorship program. Uh, everybody needs mentorship and leadership in order to grow and they have to essentially get out of their own way. And that's something that uh, has been really grateful or really uh, awesome for this particular event. Um, I've really been able to get back into some reading uh, to, I guess, improve my emotional fitness. Um, I've had strategies to work towards my impulsive behaviors like we all pretty much have when we have events happen to us. And we have reactions of per people saying things, uh, how they react or their actions towards us. So I've had an opportunity to tap into some of those things. Uh, if you've been following me on social media, you've seen some of those posts. Um, definitely keeping um, what I post, I guess, into my lifestyle as well. Prior to this event, a lot about a posting I wasn't necessarily living, getting an opportunity to actually dissect what was going on and analyzing not only the quotes I was posting, but some of the podcasts I was listening to and the readings that I tapped into. It gave me new strategies to formulate towards, you know, signs of failure or events that were turning into more of failures, whether it be with clients or business partnerships and even relationships for that matter. So it really gave me an opportunity to uh, work on some of those strategies. And I want to just take over here and just completely talk. Um, Carrie, did you want to add some of those things that you've been working on? Um, I think the biggest thing when this all started to kind of go down, I was in the middle of a shift between companies and starting my own practice by myself and 
y'all kind of put a very quick halt to things. Um, so for me, I just kind of needed time to slow down, I guess, and this is the perfect opportunity. Um, really gave me the time and the insight to kind of look a little deeper in terms of how I was feeling and understanding my emotions and kind of some of the things that I needed to fix with myself in order to move forward and I think that obviously going through that growth process however uncomfortable it was um, has definitely given me a lot more insight in terms of even perhaps a little more soft skills in terms of talking to clients. I always had a pretty good relationship with clients and knew how to talk with them before, but I think this is also just going to help with just general everyday conversation now that I kind of have my shit together a little more, so. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. And I mean, I would second that motion. A lot of what you may see on my social media is very positive. Mm -hmm. I'm always putting out celebration or success stories of my clients and, you know, I might have given an image of being more or less this invincible or heroic person where you know behind the scenes I mean I'm gonna get real with you guys I've, I've struggled a lot with you know um, self-love um, self-gratitude and I think um, getting an, an opportunity to reflect and review some of the things that I've accomplished and some of the areas where I definitely need to grow uh, has given me a little bit more peace of mind and again having the time to really sew into that has also given me opportunities to diversify skill sets and learn new strategies to making you know sources of income and to actually help rebrand some of my um, you know business uh, I guess services so to speak uh, moving forward I'd really like to help people with you know a mindset or a leadership uh, quality characteristics um, I think I've always kind of had that kind of uh, intrinsic leadership quality but you definitely want to fine-tune it to become a better leader and you don't want everything to be surface level and I think a lot of what I've been learning over this course of time again tapping into stuff uh, that was beyond my scope of practice or beyond my learning uh, or my education or experience has given me an opportunity to now I guess reuse that or give back towards people and that's what we've been actually working on behind the scenes that's why we're doing these these uh, videos is to allow people to see a little bit of a deeper side into what we can provide um, training is also a surface level thing if you think about it uh, we really preach that when we talk about our services and it needs to go deeper in order to have it stick and have it uh, work effectively it has to be a full encompassing lifestyle change and you have to take your time with it and one of the things that I've come to realize like she was saying is I, I got to kind of take the lens off of what I'm doing in her so to speak and really look at what my clients perspective would be and where I could help there and not necessarily take everything so personal because that was kind of my issue before because I really wanted to succeed and coming full circle it was because I put a lot of pressure on myself so um, it's been it's been really good I mean there's obviously been ups and downs and with change and transformation it can be very tough there's been a lot of tears I mean I haven't really filmed a lot of that but uh, there's been tears there's been lots of self-doubt because it's been it's been tricky right uh, but the important thing was with this opportunity again it was an opportunity to literally reset and what you input into your brain is essentially going to be your reality and thankfully I got out of my own way and I've been inputting you know the right strategies to the right people with positivity and success at the forefront of their lives and it was essentially again reformulating or recalibrating habits and sometimes we may think that habits aren't necessarily uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, holding us back or uh, detrimental to our success but even though it's a positive habit it's not necessarily what's important right now um, I like myself for example I try to uh, listen to music that's um, something that's you know inspiring uplifting or tells truths but at that time maybe I'm so used to listening to music that gives me that message I've got an abundance of that I don't have something that tells me how to uh, work a new business strategy to communicate to my clients better or work on my leadership skills and my learning or my listening skills those are things that can be very challenging to change when you look at the habit and you know from the external forces like from other people or just yourself and them kind of you know pumping your tires so to speak you sit there and say well you know you're you're healthy you're happy you're this you're that but you're not necessarily again working on those gray areas where you need growth and that takes a lot of I guess vulnerability and humility to get to that point point. And again, when you're running at 100 miles an hour, like most of us were, 
we don't get an opportunity to do that. So it's been, again, very nice to have those things. Um, I'll let you kind of take over if you can kind of <laughs> echo what I was saying and then, you know. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is um, we're all moving so quick that we don't necessarily take the time to deal with some of the things going on that need to be dealt with and we just kind of pass it over and we'll get to it when we get to it but this is the perfect time to actually get down and into some of those things whether it was reading self-care meditation getting back into some of those things that actually help you get a little more in touch with not necessarily overthinking everything but actually more understanding what is going on and when we actually get down to the root of not necessarily reacting to what we are seeing or hearing for information that we can actually switch off essentially that lizard brain or that fight or flight mode and just like take the time to actually take it in and understand what is going on and in that regard whether that was coursework for me actually taking a well-being course understanding a little bit more on that side of things which I already kind of knew some of it I just needed to put it back into practice because I fell away from it because I didn't have time right. so I think that boils down for that but what else are you thinking of <laughs> I, I've just been really <laughs> grateful for you know this opportunity as much as you know the, the common the common message out there and you know I guess in the in society is to be fearful and uncertain and kind of angry um, again this has given us an opportunity um, and I've really uh, taken that and ran with it um, learning a new skill set to diversify my income um, with an opportunity that I've been working on a project that I've been working on has been a blessing in disguise um, and that is giving me more power I guess more faith and um, things are all happening for us as opposed to against us or you know you know, to kind of hold us back as long as we have those lens on and we have that uh, mindset towards growth and success through these set events. Like she said, with the, the lizard brain or the impulsive brain, that's something that we can't control. That like every human has that, you know, particular automatic reaction or impulsive behavior. That's just how we're governed, that's, that's science. So building my emotional fitness was one of those things I really needed to work on. And I would have never figured that out if I would have just gone down those same habits like I was talking about listening to music and working out and I got the working out down I've been working out pretty much all my life and the experiences have allowed me to get my client successes where can I help them in other ways and where can I leverage that help into um, communicating to more people is what is really important here and I think um, again that's what this opportunity for me has been all about uh, we would love to hear from some of the things that you guys have uh, you know had breakthroughs for in respects to your mindset or maybe some realization moments where you're like hey I need help in this area um, because we're always learning I mean I I love to learn I'm a sponge kind of my jam so I'm always looking to learn from not only my peers but even some of my clients and just people that I've never even met before that's awesome so we're always looking for an opportunity to learn and you can also you know get in touch with us and Kind of pick our brains on the directions or the routes that we took like she took some courses uh, for me like some people that stand out is like tony robbins everybody kind of knows who tony robbins is listening to a podcast and kind of just having it in the background you'd be surprised how much you absorb um, and then if you don't you can simply go back and listen to it again so yeah, it gets you critically thinking. yeah exactly and that's i think as leaders that's one of the, the pinnacles of success is not to necessarily tell somebody what to do but to get to somebody to think for their own way and critically think and you know slowly but surely chip away at some of those habits that are holding them back from the progress of success or what they measure as success and again that's also been an opportunity for me the measure of success has changed a little bit um, it's always been kind of for me seeing successes but um, also setting boundaries within myself and you know relationships with others is something that I really uh, suffered from before so having this opportunity to look at those things has been huge right so um, any closing comments that you wanted to share with the people mm. I think just overall like what were your guys's methods did you find that you had a lot more social connection with people did you try to reconnect so I know for me before it was oh I'm too busy yeah. I have to work and so I fell away from a lot of my personal relationships Fair enough. Um, 
and so I've seen my friends a lot more than I have seen them in the last five years for the last three months so <laughs> and that's why I let her add that in because I would actually second that um, shout out to those people that I reconnected with uh, there was a really awesome moment uh, during Mother's Day where people I grew up with uh, got to meet up and hang out with all the mothers that we had growing up with and I'm talking like my day ones from like when we were in elementary and unfortunately not only has my mother passed away but a close friend of mine's mother passed away a month before so we got a chance to go say hi to them uh, you know so into the family so that's been huge and uh, yeah the, I mean the downtime has literally given us time to sow into relationships that are important or even uh, dissect the ones that clearly aren't because again if anything has taught us this even if you're not going down this route um, when you start looking at the the magnitude of these events it really makes you think or question like is this it right is, is this going to be the end and who would you spend the most time with or what would be the most uh, important thing for you is what would you make a priority hopefully uh, that somewhat crossed your mind and from that pinnacle or from that position you were able to make some strategies to push towards uh, growth in the areas that you really needed to and that again takes a lot of um, time and a lot of self-reflection and again I've been totally blessed in that sense for this opportunity during this I guess pandemic and now what you're seeing you know recently so uh, thanks for tuning in today we kind of just freestyled this and it was went we pretty well on a lot. yeah <laughs> I mean uh, and I think that's just it's important to just kind of do that just be real with y'all I think you guys maybe just see a lot of the external or the imagery of oh we're trainers and uh, yeah, yeah, they give trainer nice. client successes and stuff like that, <laughs> but it's important to get real with everybody and um, just see what you guys are about and you guys get to see what we're about. So thanks again for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for more of our mindsets. Like I said, we're going to have these at least once a week for the next foreseeable future. And we're always going to try to hit it on Monday because great time to start your mindset is on a Monday for sure. Right? Get your week started right.